Hey guys, I'm standing by a clear cut on a client property that I wrote a plan for a couple weeks ago. And the way I work is I don't just write a plan, light in your wallet and take off. I help you get the job done. So I have a contractor coming. We're going to start clearing some of this clear cut and get some food in here, which is the lowest hole in the bucket on this property. The bedding cover is tremendous you know you can see over here how there's plenty of regrowth wildlife populations are way down around here so you can get away with a clear cut and it'll grow back you can see behind me lots of low cover browse there's green briars and brambles of different types out there and lots for the deer to eat plenty of places to bed down so we're gonna get some food on this property and uh, stick around and I'll show you how we get it done Next step in the process, once he has all the trees mowed off, and as a reminder, all those trees in the back, that's what this looked like a month ago. We went through with a forestry mulcher, we took out an acre here. Uh, right now, he's got the heavy tiller on. We'll just till all that woody debris and everything and grind up the stump. He can get up to a certain size, he can get stumps with this tiller as well. And it creates a really nice seed bed. Right now he's going over stumps, so that's why he's struggling a little bit. Look at that seed bed. You know, you could, if you had a brilliant seeder, this would be perfect for uh, planting some clovers. But we don't want to plant clovers in the spring. I want to plant clovers in the fall. In the summer now, we'll probably put some peas and spring oats on here. That'll give us a cover, give the deer something to eat, get them used to coming in here to feed. Uh, this time of year, you know, we're starting to get to the season where they're dropping fawns, growing antlers, feeding fawns. We need a lot of protein. So we need uh, peas, soybeans even. They're not going to turn into much because the deer are going to hammer them, but that's okay because we're just feeding them. This is what we end up with. There's a beautiful blackberry growing there. That gets everything churned in. Normally we'd want to put on our lime and get it tilled down so if we're, we're at a an approximately eight to nine inch tilling depth so that'll get every every bit of that lime down into the root zone when we have really poor soils i don't really have to worry about it here because our organic matter is so high see how nice and brown that is if we're in soils it really has very little organic layer then we uh, we want to add compost, but I don't think we need it here. Um, the one thing I want to say about this 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 is expensive. I'm not going to lie, but if you were to bring a dozer guy in here and doze off these trees and shove them all down and make a big mess down there, all your topsoil would go with it. This way, we preserve topsoil. 
none of it's lost all our organic layer is still there so you have your O horizon and you have your A horizon intact mycorrhizal fungi is down there uh, we do a lot of damage to it with this tillage but it has to be done at least once so that we can get a seed bed and get some plants started and then we'll go no-till from there I'm gonna go over to the one that he finished completely take a couple pictures of that but the thing does a beautiful job The other job we have going, uh, we're going to dump a truckload of lime there, bring in a spreader, we'll spread all that and then we'll till that lime in. We're going to put compost there as well because that's a real shaly soil out there. And if you're going to bring a truckload, you might as well fill the truck because they're charging by the hour to run the truck, so it doesn't matter what you have in it. Look at that, you, you can't beat that. I mean, I'd like to have that in my garden right now. Now what I'm gonna try to get this guy to do is set up a redneck vine over there. I don't know if you see that field. If he sets up a redneck right there and we drop a few of those trees, we're gonna be able to shoot all the way over to here at 400 yards. So we'll be able to cover that field and this field all at the same time. Okay, so here's the finished product. Uh, once he gets it all mulched and then brings the heavy tiller in, fills all that in, we end up with a really nice seed bed ready to plant. In this case, we didn't pull the bigger stumps. We just, there's only three decent sized trees in this food plot, so we just we'll just work around them rather than spend the money to remove stumps. But as you recall, uh, there was thick, thick regrowth from clear cutting this whole property and we're carving some food plots out of that. So that's the deal. Uh, after this step, we're gonna disc that to level it up, get the troughs and the, 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 the pillar creates these really fluffed up pillows here. And, we're gonna have to level that up with a, a light disking. We can put seed down and we could cull the pack that in. Uh, cull the pack it probably twice and wait for rain and we'll be feeding deer. Uh, I'll try to get down here or get the landowner to send me some, some finished product uh, pictures of the food plot once we get it in. Uh, this will be these uh, small food plots will be corn, I mean, I'm sorry, this will be the uh, clover chicory type food plots. And then down where the old crop fields are, we'll put corn and beans in down there. There's a big well site, gas well over this way, where they cleared several acres and they straightened up the, the soil really well. So we can grow whatever we want in there from the gas company work. Uh, pH is 6.8 or something like that and uh, nutrient levels are all, all great so we can plant anything we want where those guys are working uh, that's a real blessing uh, so that'll be next year though that's a whole other project all right um, that's about it for this project until uh, we get it planted if you want to turn your property into a hunting paradise give me a call We'll do a plan, and when I do plans, I'm a little different because, number one, I'm a, I'm a forester. Uh, I've been doing this for 25 years, so I kind of know my way around what to do and where to put things and set your land up for hunting. And this place is going to be incredible hunting when we're done with it. A few thousand dollars here and there, and... Uh, enjoy hunting your property for the rest of your life and add value to it as well you know just from the real estate standpoint there's nothing better than having some good roads good openings 
with uh, planted fields and lots of game walking around. So give me a call if you need help with that. Um, like I say, if I if I do a plan on your property, I don't just give you a hand you a plan and see you later. I never talk to you again. Uh, help you through every step of the process. Um, hope to hear from you soon. All right, take care. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And comment down below, let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.